Hello, everybody. Hola. <laughs> we are leaving Washington. I just said goodbye to my sister and my mom. We're heading out. Are we going north or south? South. Cool. We have an event that we need to be to um, in a couple weeks down at Aja's. So we are heading out, and I believe we're going to meet up with uh, one of our really good friends. We had a plan to travel with some other people. Unfortunately, that didn't work out because they couldn't leave till a certain date. We were already ready to leave, so we are going to get on the road. And... I've had enough of Washington <laughs> State. It's it been, been actually, well... It has been awesome. <laughs> yeah, the weather's been good here. Scotty uh, went to work for... A week, put a little bit of money back in the savings, and we're ready to get into a little drier weather. Not drier in, in the sense of rain, but humidity. It's a little humid here. We're not used to it anymore. So, <laughs> anyway, so true. Yeah. We didn't think it existed here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys on down the road. bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time it's clear to see from up here the world seems small all right guys well we stayed in a parking lot last night um, woke up this morning and this is the smoke from the organ fires. Um, we're in Pendleton and usually you can see some of the mountain up there. You can't see it now. Um, the smoke started probably, oh, I don't know, about two, three hours ago and it's just gotten worse and worse. Definitely can feel it in our nose and in our chest. So, we're going to head out of here. We were supposed to meet up with one of our friends. We were going to go ahead and just wait here for her um, for a couple days till she made it here. But this is a little too much for us. So we're going to head on out and try to find somewhere else. Thanks to our good friend Jeff. He bought us some of these when we were in a higher altitude. So we've got that out. And uh, we'll just keep that with us. I don't know if it will help, but it's a little hard to breathe out here. All right, we'll see you guys on the road. Maybe if the smoke isn't too thick. Well, dust can be very unhealthy, well, like in saying. Arizona, I'm the dust storms. Either way. So I I looked up the. Um, we were trying to figure out if it was dust or or smoke because we got it out of the camper and into the truck and our. Our eyes felt like we had uh, a lot of dirt in it, <laughs> dirt in them. So I looked it up. It said that there was an advisory for heavy smoke in the area um, throughout, or a lot of areas throughout Oregon. Um, but we're just not sure if this area right here, if we're just having a dust storm of some sort. We've been through this area many times and I've never, we've never seen a dust storm before, so not through this area, but maybe it does. I don't know. All right, we're going to head up the road here. We're going to try to get out of whatever this is. If it's smoke, I don't know if we'll be able to get out of it. If it's a dust storm, then we'll be able to get out of it. So we'll see when we get to the top of the mountain. This is a climb too. Yeah. Sorry about all the bugs on the window, but Scotty didn't want to wash it because um, of all the... There is dust on our truck, so I don't know. Maybe we'll get up here and be able to figure out what's going on. turned off of uh, I-84, came down the road, 
This is Bird Track Springs Campground. So we're gonna go in here and check it out. I don't believe it's on the river. There's The river's on the other side of the road, but there is a trail. So we're just gonna go check this out and see what it's like. Um, we've decided that I can't escape the smoke for the day. So we're gonna just go check out a couple sites. Okay, so the camp fee is $5 per site, $5 for day use, and the normal instructions of what to do and what not to do. Uh, dangerous river conditions. Okay, be careful before we go to the river. Just basically forest camping. And five dollars isn't too bad. No, not at all. Lots of camping back in there. So we'll just take a tour around and see. Probably wouldn't be bad if you were just on the road for the day and needed to get off the road and didn't want to spend, uh, you know, 20, 30 bucks at the campsite, campground that's uh, on the highway when we came in, which we didn't show you guys, sorry. Oh, we got that. Yeah, pit toilet. Pit toilet, yeah. Yeah, we probably won't stay here, um, just because the river's all the way over there through the woods. We're gonna try to oh, find... Maybe this goes out or something. I don't think it does. It's just a loop. Oh. Maybe, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Do not enter. What <laughs> God circles you around. Oh, number four is not bad right up against the woods there. It's pretty big. None of them are very bad. I mean, we've got enough space. So. Alright, we're not going to waste any more time going through the rest of the site. We're going to get back out on the road and see if we can get closer to the actual river. Let's go way back in there. Let's see a big, big old, old fifth wheel. Class a. All right, I'm sorry, class A back Is there. It? Yeah, big one. Well, the sites are definitely big enough for that. Yeah. All right, back to the road. Is it? Oh! A backup. Oh! Yeah. He, I don't know if he's supposed to be out of the fence. I don't think so. My little guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're coming oh. to get him. <laughs> Alright. Were they coming to get him? Yeah. Oh, he got out. <laughs> Cute. Okay, we're going to try another spot on the side of the river here. A little pull off. Uh, it's, it's we're right on the road. road. Yeah, we are on the road, but that's okay. Doesn't it's a fairly seem, quiet road. Yeah, doesn't seem too bad. Somebody has already had a campsite here, so and we'll just see. The river's right there. I mean, we are right on the road, though. I'm not sure how that's going to work, but I don't. There's not a whole lot of traffic here, so um, the thing is, we don't want to travel. All the way back down this road 
um, the way we came because we came quite a long ways. So we're going to look at the paper map since I don't have cell service out here. Um, I can pull my map up, but it stops at a certain point. Um, the service wasn't good enough for it to load the whole thing. So we're going to see if we're going to see if we can go back this way um, and get back on to 84, maybe tomorrow. We're going to check this out here, though. Got to watch for snakes. I saw a dead snake on the road, so I know that they're here. Why, well, somebody drove right down here. Oh, pretty. Yeah, look at they went and stacked all the rocks up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, look at all the rocks. Cute. <laughs> Yeah, they got all kinds of stacked rocks in there. Quiet, used to, really? yeah. Look at, there used to be something out there. There's um, pilings in, mm -hmm. out there. Huh. Under what? Maybe a bridge that went across? That could very well have been. Yeah. Well, I don't know, guys. We're, Scotty and I are going to look at the map, and then we'll, we'll let you guys know if we're going to stay here for just one night or... Or what we're gonna do we're waiting for our friend Dory to leave her area and meet up with us so we're just kind of wasting time and waiting for her. oh I just saw a fish Scotty got a little one uh, you might not be able to see. he's right uh, you guys won't be able to see it but they're down there swimming around Ready. And there's less smoke here and through this valley. And the wind's kind of going right down this valley. Yeah, it's kind of nice. Yeah. All right. You never see it okay. All right, well, you heard Sky say we're going to go ahead and stay. We're going to pull down here. Um, it's a little uneven, but then we'll have the back door facing the water. And we'll be off the road a little bit. All right. We're going to park right there. Something definitely lays down here. Probably the deer. I've seen deer along the river already, so that's probably what it is. Ooh, it's a little chilly here, though. All right, time to get settled down. Perfect view. <laughs> I love it. It's very nice. And then in the morning, we'll get up early and head back into uh cell service area so that we can get a hold of our friend and let her know where we're at. She may not meet up with us until Wednesday, so uh, we'll leave tomorrow and we'll find another spot. Pretty. Well, we made it through the night without... Uh, a whole bunch of smoke. It's nice and clear this morning. So hopefully when we head back it will be just as clear. Scotty and I were wondering if there were crawdads here. There's a little bit of evidence. They probably are along that side over there where the tall grass is. Well, <laughs> You can't see it right now, but there's a bear down there. There's a bear on the river. Where? There's a bear. He's huh? right, he's, I don't know if he's coming this way. Did you get a of him? No, he went behind the tree. Sure yeah, he's a bear. It's definitely a bear. Um, I'm going to get in the camper. I'm hoping he'll come this way. He's down at the bend right down there. Which way? Um, down the way we came. Down which way? This way. You didn't get any film? I didn't see him until I was walking to the door. Oh my gosh, my first time ever seeing a bear out in the wild. I'm sure he can hear me. I'm just going to leave the camera on. See if we can capture him coming up the river. Never 
never seen that before. I wish I could have captured it for you guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna go in the camper though and be real quiet. Maybe I can maybe I'll get them on camera. Alright. The bear is over here somewhere. I can hear him breaking twigs. He's right here. You hear him, babe? He's right here. Look, babe. He just went into some... Can you guys see the bushes moving? He's right behind those bushes. He's just a baby bear. See him? <laughs> oh my gosh, my first bear I've ever seen. I'm gonna get a good view here in a second. Yeah, I'm gonna get a good view. Hope he hears you. Hope he sees me. He sees me. He's he's hiding in the bush. I'm kind of shaking, you guys. Sorry. Oh, he's just eating berries up there. Excited. Oh my gosh. So excited. I don't know if I should get out of the camper. I wanna I wanna get out of the camper, but I know they can run fast. I'm really close to the door, so. So he's just going along the river, eating berries. This has got to be the most exciting thing I've ever seen on our travels. I have waited for a long time to see a bear. Just minding his own business. Looking for food this morning. Exciting was that. Well, I can check that off my bucket list. <laughs> that was so cool. Was one, yeah, he was. You'd probably just rather see a little brown bear like that than a grizzly bear. Oh yeah. <laughs>